Hello, my name is Stephen Liam, the founder of Sermon Audio, and we just recently installed this table in the conference room of the vault. It is a very important table to us, not just because we need a place around which we can meet and talk about the work that we do, which is important, but it is our hope and prayer that around this table, God's people will gather together to pray. We will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. From this place, we hope that the word will be continually broadcast like the good seed that it is all around the world. But we also hope and desire that we will be able to give ourselves continually to prayer. We're asking for the revival of religion, as Jonathan Edwards put it, and also for the advancement of Christ's kingdom on the earth. I hope you'll join us, rejoice with us, pray with us, and take this step of faith with us. Steve Richardson preached at a conference in Canada, and there was a clip that I extracted that I would like to play for you now. The disciples thought that this boy that they were dealing with could be delivered from this demon without any effort at all. And perhaps it sounds noble because, of course, they recognized who it was they were dealing with. They're dealing with God who created the ends of the earth. They're dealing with one with whom nothing is impossible. So why not a brief prayer and we're done? Jesus called them perverse and faithless. It was unbelief. It was unbelief. Brothers and sisters, the problem with the church today, in this case, is that we are awash with unbelief. We have lists of things that we want a little bit. I would like to have revival a little bit. It'd be nice. But we think we can say a brief prayer and it's done. So that most of us hardly know what it is to fast. We say the prayer and then we finish it off with thy will be done. And then when we don't get what we ask, we chalk it up to the sovereignty of God. It's unbelief. Can I ask you then tonight, do you want God to rend the heavens and come down? I ache for this, but not every day. There are many times when I've had a half wish that we would have revival. Do we really want God to come down in this generation? 